Tonight, it's our pleasure to invite you to ride the magic carpet of radio as we leave Radio City in New York to go to the ringside of Municipal Stadium in Philadelphia for the scheduled 15-round heavyweight feature bout between Tony Galento and Lou Nova. As you make yourself comfortable at your loudspeakers, the NBC Blue Network lines switch over to your Adam Hat sportscasters, Sam Taub and Bill Stern. So away we go to Philadelphia. Come in, Bill Stern. Thank you and good evening. This is Bill Stern greeting you on behalf of Adam, America's one price hatter on this another stop on your sports parade. Sam Taub right beside me joins in this salutation of welcome. And so, well, we're ready for the festivities tonight. Galento is in the ring. Lou Nova's in the ring. We're at Philadelphia, the Municipal Stadium. We're ready to go. In just a few moments, we're going into round one of what will give us a contender for the heavyweight title of America. Let's get into the ring and listen to the announcement. The contender for the light heavyweight honors, Gus Lesnovich of New Jersey. Gus Lesnovich. Lesnovich walks over to Galento's corner. Now he's walking over to Nova's corner. Climbs out of the ropes. Galento, dressed in a purple bathrobe, slung over his shoulders. Now they've peeled off the bathrobe, putting on the boxing gloves. Tony's hair, what there is of it on top of his head, glistening down under, well, we can't say tons of wax, but there's a lot of it. Here's another announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, during the next two weeks, under the promotion of Mike Jacobs, three great boxing contests, will be staged. The first, Joe Lewis, world's heavyweight champion, and Bob Pastor, leading contender at Detroit, Michigan, next Wednesday night. And then on September... That will be a stop on your Adam Hatt Sport Parade. Billy Kahn will meet The boy who he win the title from in a return match, Milio Bettina. That, too, was another stop on your Adam Hatt Sports Parade. Have a great contest in New York. The third contest on October the 2nd will be staged in Madison Square Garden, New York City. It will bring together Fred a possibly middleweight title holder who will defend his championship against hard-hitting Sheriff Reno Garcia. Well, we could go on and just keep right on saying what we started. That's another one of these stops on the Adam Hat Sport Parade. But rather than keep saying that after every announcement from the ringside, we'll just tell you this. All the fights in Madison Square Garden this coming winter, the biggest fights there are are more stops on your sports parade. Well, now let's bring you up to date quickly. Here in Philadelphia, the Municipal Stadium, it's a lovely night. Not a, a cloud in the sky. The stars are out. And in the stadium themselves, from 12 to 25,000 people, rather 20 to 25,000 people, assembled here waiting for the actual hostilities to begin. Galento in his own corner now with his bathrobe peeled off, his handlers working over him. Joe Jacobs with the ever-present big black stogie sticking out of the corner of his mouth looking at Galeno. In the other corner, Lou Nova looking very calm, cool, and collected, resplendent in a white bathrobe with a white T-shirt thrown over his shoulders and a white towel bunched around his neck. Both men back in their corners now, Galeno dancing up and down a little bit, the more nervous of the two. And here, if we had to pick out anything for an unusual sight, we might say this enormous stadium, picture if you will, a tremendous horseshoe located on the outside of Philadelphia, just on the outskirts of the city itself, and tonight, a goodly crowd looking down on a ring well lit from the incandescent lights just pouring down on the ringside. We might go back for a moment and tell you of the preliminaries. The first fight tonight was between Ben Moros and Billy Kettle. Ben Moros, a Philadelphia boy, won by a technical knockout in the fourth round. Well, perhaps we're going to get some action from the ringside. Until we get an actual description, well, here's the introduction of the two contestants, so let's listen. 15 rounds presenting two of the outstanding contenders for the heavyweight title, the winner to meet Joe Lewis next June. From California, weighing 207 pounds, Lou Nova. Nova stands in the center of the ring, gets a nice hand. Weighing 200, 
24 and one half pounds, Orange, New Jersey, Tony Galando. Galando out in the center of the ring, and he bows in all directions. Back to his corner now, and the hand keeps up for Tony. Your attention, please. The officials, the officials for this contest, in the judges' seat, Eddie Lochran, Frank Nosborough, counting for the knockdown, Joe Savino, the referee, George Blake, California. All right, Blake goes into the center of the ring, takes a hold of the microphone, so let's listen to George Blake's instructions to Tony Galeno and Lou Nova. Uh, well, that's that's against that the rules, uh, this is Joe Jacobs, the manager of Tony Galando, protesting against the grease on Lou Nova's head. You fellas make a clean fight, keep your punches up, don't hit over the kidneys or the back of the neck. And when I tell you to break, let go, step back, and break clean. Shake hands now and come out fighting. George Blake from California gives them their instructions. Back in the corners they go. It's round one, and here's Sam Taub. Thank you, Bill Stern. Good evening, folks. Waiting for that bell for the first round. Ray Collin in Lou Nova's corner. Collin is his manager, with Ray Arcel, his chief handler. Here they are, coming up. Galento assumed the pose he did in the recent battle with uh, Lewis. He shot a right, aimed for the jaw, missed, and hooked the left to the chin, a left jab into the mouth, and a left into the body of Nova. Nova in close, pounce, pounces into his man and pumps three short rights to the body, and then Nova crowds Galento, the shorter man, into the ropes. They break quickly, move back towards the center of the ring. Nova's got his right guard up high, his left hand in front of him. Galento tried to left lead, missing a short of, sort of pushed his left hand into his opponent's mouth. Another blow, then... Galindo tried to left leader, went around the neck, and in the clinch, Nova got in a short right to the body. And here's the referee, George Blake of California, well-known to boxing fame, telling him to break. Galindo missed the right to the jaw, and in the clinch, Nova pounded three right to the body, and Galindo let go right high on the head as Galindo crowded Nova into the ropes, and in that position, they worked their way back to the center of the ring. There, Galindo missing. He missed the left of the face, took a left to the chin, two right to the body, and a right up. That is by Nova, and in the clinch, Nova got in short right and hook fashion to the chin of the orange roly poly. Here's Galindo rushing in with the left lead missing and now he's half wrestling Nova into the ropes. Nova tying him up and here they are getting kind of up in a neutral yeah, corner. Yeah. Here's the referee Put George Blake telling him to break and talking to the two boys. Not to be so rough. Now they move back to the center of the ring again. Nova the taller of the two moves in there. Let go a right to the head and took a left tie on the right side of the temple landed by Galindo. And then they fell into a clinch with Nova crowding his man into the rope. Galento stands his jaw, moves in their left hand pretty well back. He hooks the left to the face of Nova. Nova pounds a right into the body and a short right into the mouth of Galento as they go into close quarters. Quite a difference in the size of the boys and the proportions. There's Nova ducking away from right and left and Galento let go a left, a backhand, left hand punch to the face and in the clinch Nova works a short right to the body. That was a backhand blow that Galento accidentally let go that time for the face. They move back towards the center of the ring. Nova come in there, let's go right to the head. Galento swings with the left lead, misses, and now they go into a clinch almost on the rope. Now they come back towards the center of the ring. Galento missed another left this time. A hook came for the jaw, he missed with it. But and in the clinch on the ropes, Nova got in a short right to the body and a right to the face. While Galento was a little bit rough with that left hand of his again. Now they move back to the center of the ring. Galento stands his ground. Nova is watching him carefully. Galento did sneak in with a light left to the face. Now Galento is being tied up very effectively by Lou Nova, and the referee has his white cut out and facing the two men now. They move back to the center of the ring, and Nova jabs the left of the mouth and hooks the left to the face. And a short 
right to the body as Galindo was busy crowding the boy from Alameda, California, into the room. There they are back into the center ring again. Tony missed the right lead aim for the face. They go into a clinch. Now they're on the ropes. The Galindo was short with a right aim for the body. They move back towards the center of the ring once more. Galindo rushed in, missed the lift, took a short right into the side. And the referee once more is telling the boys to break as they fall into close quarters. There's the bell, the end of round one, hit Bill Stein. Well, a summary of that first round has brought out some very interesting facts. In the first place, Tony Galeno came out all set for the knockout. If he could only score one, and he wasn't going to waste any time in trying to go to work and make that. The first two punches he landed were not the kind that fighters generally use in the beginning of the fight, that is, feeling out blows. These were haymakers. He brought them up from his shoe tops. Galeno apparently also was equally determined to get Lou Nova's goat before this fight started. You heard the discussion between the referee and Lou Nova as to the grease on Nova's hair. Well, we can tell you by looking at both men that actually Tony Galeno had far more on his own head than Nova, and yet the objection was raised as to Lou Nova. Nova's using his footwork tonight to excellent advantage, and that is to keep away from these long, looping lefts, which Tony lets go. He starts just about the day before yesterday, and by the time they arrive, it's sometime in next week. But if one connects, they can hurt. Joe Lewis can testify to that. Well, the 10-second warning has sounded now. And so both men back in their corner sitting calmly. One round gone by. Round two coming up, and here's Sam Tal. Okay, Bill getting all set. The manager has told the boys plenty of worldly wisdom in the 60 seconds rest. They come up there. There's a short round on jaw by an open, and the left hook on the chin. He measured Galindo with that right, let it go on the chin, then follow through with a left hook to the face. Now he pumps a short right into the body at close quarters and the right shot alongside of Galindo's jaw. Galindo has his own instructions. He's trying to get in there, but we notice Nova's got his chin down low towards the right shoulder, down towards the chest, and his right guard up high. Galindo did sneak in with a left hook that grazed the chin of Nova. He didn't get it in flush. He grazed the jaw of the taller boy, but the lighter one, Lou Nova. Now they come back to the center of the ring of more once more. Here's Galindo taking a hard right to the body. Galindo's got set to let go a left to the face, but as he did in the first round, he missed with it. Galindo then swung with a right to the face, but the left to the jaw, a left to the body, and over a right to the chin, but Galindo rounds his turn to the ropes, and that was quite an exchange for a few seconds. Galindo did land in a few telling blows that time. Here's Galindo jabbing the left on the nose. Nova moves in there. Galindo hooks the left to the face, and Nova, a left to the jaw, and a left into the body. Galindo rushes in with a short left to the body, and Nova three in right under the heart as Galindo crowds his opponent into the ropes, and here's the referee facing the two boys out. Once more, they come back towards the center of the ring as they bounce off the hempen. Here's Nova coming in to take left to the face, and crossing the right to Galindo's jaw, another right to the chin, but Galindo still tears in. And back the younger man from the West Coast into the ropes. They break quickly after they go into close quarters. Galindo stands in there. Now he goes and bobs and weaves low, Galindo does. And Nova tries to send him out with a left jab on the mouth. Galindo swung with the right to the head and the left that caught his man on the chin and another left hook to the temple and the right shot that landed to Nova's left ear. Nova stood up well under the barrage of blows, though. Now they move back. They're circling right around the center of the ring, especially after these clinches. Nova still comes in there. Galindo tried to beat him to the punch with a right left high on the cheek on the right side and they fell into close quarters once more. George Blake watching the boys from a distance of about three feet away, circling around with him so not to interfere with the crowd. Galento hooked the left to the face, and in a counterattack, Nova came back with a short right into the left side of the boy from the oranges. There's a right to the chin by Nova, and a left jab into the mouth by Lewis, which he followed through. He let go a right. It was more of an open glove back, although it landed, and then in a the clinch, Galento tried a light left into the midsection. Now they step back to the center of the ring. Here's Nova trying to straighten his man out with a left, letting go right to the face. A left jab to the mouth, another left jab to the mouth. And then Galento hooked the left to the face and Nova a short right to the face and a right into the rhythm of Galento. But still Galento comes forward all the time. Nova himself trying for a knockout. Now they move away. Here's Galento jabbing the left into the mouth and trying to left to the face. And Nova works a short right uppercut to the jaw of the roly-poly from the oranges. And they go into attention. This time the referee is fought to get in there himself and break the boys. Now they move it in. Galento got in the left to the body. They get a center up in close. Plenty of rough work going on. And George Blake, brought here from California, especially for this bout, has his work cut out, breaking the men out. Galento missed the right and went around the neck, worked the left into the body of Nova, and Nova pounded his shot right into the midsection at the bill. Again, they go back to their corner. Galento still trying to land across one punch. He's fighting in fits and starts. By that, I mean he'll let go with a terrific left and then save his energy and his breath for quite a while until he lets the next one go. Well, here's
here's a bit of a warning I'd like to pass on to our friends of the Adam Hat Sport Parade and to those millions of men who consider Adam Hat tops in every way. Remember to look for the maker's famous mark, the Adam Seal. Adam, spelled A-D-A-M, when you buy your new hat. It's your sponsor's warranty of genuineness and your seal of protection. Accept no substitutes and beware of imitation. Round three will be coming up next. Nova has been using a very short right to, well, good effect in the fight. It's been his most effective blow so far. As for Tony, well, as we told you a few moments ago, Tony fights and fits and starts. He's been taking care of that short press, which he's got by taking every advantage of a rest period he can get. All right, round three coming up. Getting all set. Here's the referee coming to the center of the ring with the two boys, Galento and Nova, to come up for the third session. Schedule 15 round bout. Here's a light left to the face by Nova, Nova, and Galento rushed in with the left tie on the cheek. Galento half the time assumed the pose. Now he wraps his left hand and arm around uh, Nova's neck and tries to pound him with the right to the ribs until the referee tells him to break and step away. Nova still fighting in the crouch, moving in the left hand in front of him. Jabs left to the face, the right to the body of Galento. Another right left into Galento's body and a right chop on Galento's jaw by Lou Nova as Galento stays in close. And Nova ties up Galento's left arm rather effectively. Galento trying to break through, but not landing in any way in an effective manner. Now they move in there. Galento rushes to and left miss, and Nova hooked a short left arm to chin. Now they go into a clinch. A little wrestling going on for a second. And once more, George breaks the third man and wants to tell him to break and step away. And the, coming out of a break, we notice that Nova has a cut alongside of his right eye. Got a, coming out of that clinch, we notice that cut. Galento was roughing him up a little bit with that left li left of his in close quarters. Now they move away. Galento does the same. You can never tell from his facial expression what he's going to do. Oh. Right on the jaw landed by Nova. A hard right. He caught Galento coming in. And why he didn't lift Galento up, we don't know. Maybe for something a half pound advantage and weight that Tony has over his man. Nova's right eye is cut. He's had those cuts before, though. There goes a right on the chin by Nova again. Nova fights more furious when he hurts. Then when he's not, we noticed that in previous battles, especially in that nice bear fight. Here's the referee watch, uh, watching the boys as he stepped in there. Galento is trying to come in there. He's not rushing. He hooked the left to the face of Nova that time. Nova came back with a right to the lips, another short right to the body, and a light right alongside of the chin, while Galento wrapped his right arm around Nova's left to both corners. Now they move in there. Galento comes in there. He seems to be confident, all right, Tony does. He lets go a left lead a little bit wild. He's been doing a lot of missing, but once in a while getting in. And whenever Tony lands, it, it kind of hurts a little bit. Now Galento moves in once more. Nova took a right top to the left there, but Galento was kept himself in the counter attack with a left took on the jaw and a right to the ribs. Now they're mauling around at close range. Galento wraps his right arm once more around Nova's left forearm, and the referee is forced to break the two boys. Galento got a shot and Nova off of him. He's got back to the center of the ring. Here's Nova coming in there, trying to jab a left to the face and trying to follow through with a right shot on the jaw. But the stand assumed by Galento made it hard for Nova to really straighten them out. That poise of Galento's was rather difficult. Now they move away from each other. Here's Galento taking a right shot to the left hand and almost spun him around. He jumped Nova and Galento went down with Nova. Now they both get up. Galento hurt Nova. Nova went down from the left hand on the jaw. Tony Galeno caught Lou Nova flush on the point of the chin with one of those looping lefts, the same kind of a punch that knocked Joe Lewis down. And it knocked Lou Nova down just as cleanly as possible. But in the force of that punch, Galeno was off both feet as he let Blow go with that blow. And he kept sailing forward. And as he hit Nova, Nova gave way and Nova went down. Galeno went down on top of him. And both of them were sprawled out in the center of the ring for a few seconds. Galeno was the first one to pick himself up, get back out of the way. He tried to head for a neutral corner. Before he could do it, Lou Nova was back on his feet, looking wildly around the ring, not knowing exactly where he was because he was hurt and hurt badly. And from that time on, it was Tony Galeno chasing Lou Nova around the ring, trying to get in one more of those con Sunday come to meeting punches. He wasn't able to do it, and Nova stood on his feet for the remainder of the round. And so it's going to be round four coming up. Yes, there was some round. Here they are coming up. 
Nova might be all right and he might not be. Galindo looks all right. Let's go right to the head of the Nova. And the left of the jaw, he hurt Nova. Nova's grabbing and holding. Galindo hurt him. Another left on the jaw. Sent Nova clear across the ring. Another left on the jaw by Galindo. Galindo moves in towards his man. Hooks another left to the body and a left to the face. Nova looks kind of bad, but he's in there. Desperately trying to hang on and stay. Here goes Nova taking the right to the jaw. Nova's right eye is badly cut. He's trying to fight back. A left is on the chin by Galento, who's a little bit over anxious. Joe Jacobs is managing, yelling advice from his Nova, jabbing two lefts into the mouth of Tony Galento. Nova came in there. Galento let go a right and left to the face. Another left was blocked by Nova's right glove. Nova's right eye is still bothering him. They're now battling away in Nova's corner and referee Blake breaking him out. Nova's also got a cut. Under the left eye. There goes the left hook on the jaw that staggered Nova again. And a left into the body by Tony Galento. Nova's cut over both eyes. Under both eyes. The right eye and under the left eye. He has a black spot there. Here's Nova ducking away from a right that went around the neck. And now he ties himself up against Galento for self-preservation. Nova moves in there with left to the face. Galento hooked the left to the chin. No, Galento was very anxious. Over anxious. He let go a short right to the ribs. One good punch might win the fight for Tony Galindo if he gets it over. Here he goes, missing a right leap of the face. Nova came back with a left and right to the face and left and right to the body of Galindo. The crowd's roly poly into the ropes. They're in a neutral corner. And George Blake, the arbiter, is breaking the two boys. Now they move away. Nova took another left hook high on the cheek. Landed by Galindo, but came back with a short right to the chin. Fighting desperately the Californian to uphold the prestige he's gained all year. And... Galindo himself fighting for that golden opportunity to fight for the heavyweight crown again. Moves in there a little bit wild and missing while Nova tries a short right into the body. Now they move in. Here's a left hook on the chin by Galindo. But the round is fast moving and fast stepping away. Now they're in a clinch. Tying each other up. Galindo partly responsible as well as Nova. Holding. Here's Galindo Lingo right to the face of Nova. Came back with the right to the jaw. And a left jab into the mouth of Tony Galindo and a short right to Galindo's chin. Looks like Nova came back a little bit that time with those three punches. The right and then the left and then the left again. Now they move away from each other. Nova crossed the right to the jaw of Galento and right and left to Galento's body. Here's Nova coming back. Galento swinging and missing. And he's got a headlock hold on Lou Nova Galento has. Now they move back to center of the ring. Galento has a cut between the lip and the chin. Nova again grazes the opponent's chin with a long right. Here's Nova working a right to the face once more. They go into close quarters. It looks as if this battle will never go the 15 round. If it does, it'll be a miracle. Here's Nova taking the right to the jaw, but coming back with the right to the ribs of Tony Galento. They're in the clinch along the rope. The handlers are getting ready. Looks like it's pretty near the end of this round. The referee, George Brake, just broke the two men. Here's a left hook to the face, landed by Galento, and the Nova bouncing into the ropes. Let's go a short right to the jaw in the clinch at the bell. Well, that's the end of round four. At this point, we'll pause momentarily for station identification and local announcements. Are you acquainted with the Adam Hat stores and agencies most conveniently located to your home or business? Does your telephone directory list such shops? If not, then please address Adam Hat, Adam Building, New York City, for this information. While practically every important city is now represented, there are still many others awaiting Adam Hat's coming. New dealerships are being appointed as rapidly as possible. We are making every effort to meet this increasing demand so that those who desire Adam Hat can enjoy their style smartness. Back at the ringside, Municipal Stadium, Philadelphia. And for you who are giving up the ship for Lou Nova, let me remind you, Bear had him in the same kind of condition for seven rounds and still didn't win the fight. All right, Sam, round five. Lou Nova and Tony Galento. Galento moves slowly from the stool, comes to the center of the ring. Tony's waiting to meet him. Galento got in the light left tie on the cheek, and now he's crowding Nova almost into a neutral corner. And here's the referee moving over to the boys, telling him to break and step away. Galento, of course, he isn't as agile on his feet as he was years ago, but he moves in there, takes a left jab in the mouth, hooks the left to Nova's chin, and then the left into Nova's body. Nova pumps three short right into the ribs of Galento, another right to the body, and Galento just moves Nova into the rope as if to say, well, I can take those kind of punches all night long. Evidently, from the way he just licked that body exposed, he rushed in with a left hook aim for the jaw of Galento, of Nova, rather, did Galento did, and missed in another left lead of Tony the Roly Poly went around the neck of the boy from California. Now they move back to the center of the ring. Galento was wild with a right lead, and then he's trying with a left, and fire, rapid fire back and back and forth with a left, and luckily for Nova, he missed with a forward punch and with a backward punch. 
Now they are back to center of the ring again, and here's Galando. Nova moving in, jabbing a left on the chin of Galando. Galando came in with a light left into the body crowd. Blue Nova, the handsome one, into the ladder's old corner. Nova still has that cut right eye and a swelling under the left eye. Here's a left hook on the jaw by Galento that hurt Nova. A hard left hook eye on the chin. A little bit too high though, but it took Blue Nova up considerably. Galento can hit. He always had dynamite in those hands of his. Nova moves in there. Plenty of grit. He's trying to right to the jaw and miss. And lifted him up. A right on the jaw. Hurt Galento. A right cross on the chin. Plus almost to the mouth of Galento. Almost did everything but bring Galento down that time. But Galento certainly can take it. Here's Nova standing his ground. He's cut by the cut on the mouth. He works a right to the face and two rights into the body of Galento. Another right to the rib by Lou Nova. They go into a clinch. Galento just fights methodically, just moving in there. He's got that cut between the lower lip and the chin. A slight cut right in between there on the bridge or the cleft of the chin. Here's Nova ducking away from the left lead of his opponent. And Galento's forearm is almost under Nova's uh, chin that time at close range. Nova ducked away from a right and left. Galento was wild in his delivery. Nova got in a short right to the body. Galento swings his man around and uh, drops him up a little bit at close range. You hear the crowd almost yelling advice in there. But Tony, not to do it. It's no, Tony moving in there, missing again. He's very wild. Galento has a golden opportunity to last couple of rounds. But Nova's fighting 80 battles under a condition when the SOS are out for him. Here's a lift the door by Galento. Hot Parker, but Nova moves in there. He took that left hook. Better than he's taking some of the other ones, especially the one that dropped him down and carried Galento with him. Here's the referee forced to break the two boys again. Move back towards the center of the ring. Nova ducked away from a right lead, swung his own left and right to the face of Galento. Galento is busy crowding Lou, the Californian, into the ropes not far from a neutral corner. And they quickly break into the air. The referee opens the a left is on the door by Galento. A snappy left hook. Looks like it landed almost over the right eye and the bridge of the nose. It didn't do Nova any good at all. And his face is red. Here's the bell for the end of the round as the boys go back to their corner. Thanks, Sam. Well, the very first punch of that round proceeded to add a little more damage to the damage that Lou Nova's already had inflicted on him. But that was probably the hardest blow which Nova had to weather through the entire fifth round. As for Nova, he's working now on Tony Galeno's midsection, laying off the chin for the time being, and he's lowered those punches down into that... Well, that uh, Tommy, we'll call it, of Tony Galento's. Nova still seems to be a little bit dazed. He's worked himself away from this terrific repercussions he had of those blows landed in the fourth round, but he still shakes his head determinedly like a dog trying to shake away water every once in a while to get away the fog which is clouding his brain. This is the first round which we can remember, which the hardest blow in this particular fight was landed by Lou Nova. Nova has definitely got in the one of the hardest blows he's landed in the fight and the hardest blow of the particular round. Tony Galeno's using a lot of wrestling tactics here along with his fighting ability. But now, well, let's get back to the blow-by-blow blow and round six. Getting all set, Tony's sitting at ease, very much at ease in his corner. He's the first one off the stool. As Nova moves up to the center of the ring, we notice they fixed up Nova's right eye pretty well, and Galeno got in the first punch of light left jab on the nose. And now he stays close to the taller boy. Galeno does and crowds him within two feet of the rope. They circle away closely. There's a left jab into the mouth by Nova. Galeno came back with a left hook high on the cheek of the Californian. Now they go into close quarters. The referee, George Blake, who have been doing a hard job and a good job tonight, watching them carefully. Here's Galeno missing left lead aim for the face. And Nova came back with two right to the ribs and a short right into the body. The boys stand up pretty well under the stiff pace. It's a hard battle. Here's a left hook on the chin by Galeno again. He tried another left lead, but it went around the neck while his right arm was tied up by Nova at close range. Nova wrapping his own left around it. There's Galento jabbing a left, taking a left to the face right by Nova, but stepping into Nova again with his own left, backing Nova into the ropes where Lou got in a short right to the body and followed through with a short right uppercut to Galento's jaw. Now they move back and here's Nova beating his man to the punch again with a short right to the body and Galento with close quarters. Tried a right uppercut to the jaw that just about did land. Uh, Nova's right eye is bothering him more than it did in the earlier session. He took a left hook on the chin, landed by Tony Galendo, but came back with a right into two turns, left side. Here's the referee telling him to break again. They move away from each other. Galendo is a little bit tired, evidently, himself, because his punches, or else his punches have no coordination of mind and body. They're rather missing now. Galendo rushes in again with the left lead into the body, and Nova counters with three light right into the midsection as they half wrestle each other, clear into the rope, and Galendo heels with the back of his glove on his opponent's face as he shoves Nova away from them. Now they move away. Here's a right on the chin by Nova, but Galento stands up mighty well. 
Under a punch, a while Galindo was crowding Lou into the rope. Nova got in three right to the midsection of two-turn Tony. Here's Galindo with a right to the jaw, and Nova with a right high on the chest of his opponent as they go into close quarters. Every once in a while, Galindo gets set and tries to drive that punch home. He's on the left hook on the right. He rushed him with a left hook high on the chin of Nova. Nova came back with two light right into the body. Another right that was almost dangerous in low territory, and the referee looked at Lou as if to say, keep those punches up. Now they move away from each other, and here's Galindo taking a light right to the ribs. It's more of a mauling match now. Each man deliberately hoping to bring the other one down. We know Galindo's right ear is kind of cut on the inside. Now they move in there. Nova's still bothered from the right eye, the nose and the mouth. That left eye isn't bothering him much, and Galindo rushes him, but is a little bit wild. Once more with the left as it goes around the neck of the tall boy, although the light and Nova. Nova took the left to the face, landed by Galindo. They go into close quarters. Rounds are almost similar, one like the other. Now they break after the referee steps in between them. Now they go into close quarters. Galento took two light rights into the body and a right chop to the left ear landed by Nova at close range. A lot of infighting going on here as they surge in after missing long range blows. Now they step back to each other. Galento let go a left to the face and Nova came back with a right to the body. Another light right to the ribs and now he crowds. Galento into the ropes. Now they wrestle each other around. Finally the referee straightens the two boys out. Well, six rounds have gone by. We still have nine rounds of fighting still to go. The Municipal Stadium, Philadelphia, Tony Galeno and Lou Nova fighting for the right to meet Joe Lewis next year outdoor, probably in June. Nova's been using his left hook repeatedly and do good advantage, too. That's the same blow that Galeno uses quite frequently. A lot is at stake tonight for both these men, for not only is the Lewis fight in the offing, that is, granted that Joe Lewis does get by Bob Pastor next week in Detroit, and that's by no means a certainty. Pastor's a good fighter. Well... Both men, these two men, Lewis and, or rather, Nova and Galento, have well earned their right to be in here. Tony Galento, by his gallant stand against Joe Lewis this summer, has earned everyone's respect. As for Lou Nova, he's a boy who wasn't conceded an outside chance to stand up and slug it out with Max Bear. He did the very thing and beat Bear at the best kind of fighting Bear knows, and that is toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging. Well, that's enough right now. It's getting ready for round seven. Yes, getting ready for that... Uh... Round seven coming up now. Nova and Galento. Galento the shark man, Nova the taller one. Nova took the first punch, a left jab into the mouth, landed by Tony. He jabs once in a while, Galento does. Now they move away from each other. They watch each other at a distance of about three feet away. Galento took a left jab into the mouth, hooked his own left into the body, hooked the left to the jaw of Nova, back Nova into the rope. Galento seems to be powerful and in well condition despite the fact that he's a roly-poly. Seems to stand up pretty well, although he's not moving too fast. He worked that left into the mouth of Nova. That time, Nova came back with a right into the ribs, and Galento swung with a left. But as usual, the blow went halfway around the neck of the taller Lunova. Now they're back in the center of the ring. Nova comes in there. His right guard is up high. He tries a left lead, a little bit the weakling of a left. Aim for Galento's chin and missed, and Tony fell in close and tied his opponent up rather nicely. Now they're still waiting for each other to take the lead away. Nova just stands there, waits for Galento to come to him. Nova tried a left for the face, missed. And they go into a clinch, and the referee, George Blake, for the first time that we could hear him, yells, break to the two boys. Now they circle around each other in the center of the ring. Galento moved in there, got the left end of the mouth, tried to left hook a little bit well with it. And here he's got both hands around Nova's arms, and Nova's got his arms under his opponent's arms. Don't see that very often. Here's a left jab into the mouth by Nova, who follows through with a right, another right into the rib, and a right into the body. But Galento seems to be a durable type of man. Moves in there, he's pulled a lot of experts so far. Galento hooked the left, but it went to the right ear of Lou Nova. Nova is still bothered from those cuts, the numerous cuts he has on his face, the eye, the nose, and the mouth. And a little black spot on the left eye. Here's a left hook on the chin by Tony Galento, and Nova in a clinch, pounding the right into the body, trying to make an impression, hoping it'll be a weak spot to bring down Galento's jaw. But if there is any weak spot to Galento tonight, he hasn't shown it yet as he took that terrific right a few rounds ago. Here they are mauling and cuffing at close range. Galento got in the looping right to the face, and now they are in a clinch, and referee George Blake has to halfway, go halfway in there and shove him apart. Here's a left to the right ear landed by Galento in hook fashion, and Nova came back with a right to the rib. But that right eye of Nova's is hampering his vision plenty. He came in there, took another left to the face, which Galento connected with, and now they go into a clinch. Nova still seems to be in trouble, especially from those cuts. There's a left hook that landed high on Nova's right side of the face. He's backed into the rope by Galendo. Galendo practically rests on his opponent until the referee walks halfway in between them. Now they move back to the center of the ring. Nova danced away this time, ducked with his head, and the left went around his neck. 
And Galento swings with a right, a looping right high, hoping to land with it, but it's blocked by his opponent. Now they come in there, and here's Nova with a left to the face, a left to the right to the body, and a left hook to Galento's jaw by Nova. That's one left hook, and Galento's jaw sort of brought a surge into the hearts of the crowd. They move in there, and how they feel about these battles. There goes a right chop high on the head, landed by Galindo. He moves in there. Nova's looking towards his corner as he ties up Galindo's left with his right side, a red smear. Here's a left hook to the high on the cheek, which Galindo connected with. Here's the bell for the end of the round. Here's Bill Stern. Thanks, Sam. Well, we're seeing some action again. After a comparatively mild round and a half, the boys got to it and slugged each other out well in this seventh round. No, it does not seem tonight to be taking the chances which he took against Max Bear. That is, he w is not willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and slug it out with Tony Galeno. Well, that's nothing against him. That's using good common sense because, as Lewis can well attest, Galeno is no man to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and slug with. As for Galeno, he's not fighting the same way that he fought Joe Lewis in their recent bout in New York City. At that time, Tony Galeno was instructed and did for the early stages of the fight stay down in a very low crouch. He hasn't been in that crouch except for the opening 15 or 20 seconds of the first round in the fight here. As for this stadium here in Philadelphia, well, it's seeing a grand fight tonight, but it's seen great fights in the past, too. For if your memory goes back that far, Jack Dempsey lost his heavyweight title right here before the largest crowd that ever witnessed the fight, 120,000 people. All right, it's the beginning now of the eighth round. Well, they've gone a long way. The middle round now, the eighth round. LAR for 15 round bout, Nova and Galento. Nova, Galento bobs and weaves, gets down low. He just almost stands with his feet, hooks the left to the right ear of Nova. Galento seems to be rather smart. He gets in there every once in a while. Not a sneak punch, but he lets the blow go, especially a left hook and connects with it. Uh, plenty of force behind his wallop. He lets go right that time, but it went around the neck of Nova. They go into a clinch, and the referee is forced to tell the boys to break and step away. They move right in the center of the ring. To watch each other very carefully. Here's a right on the chin by Nova with everything he had to offer. But Galento got in close, crowded his man into the ropes. And again, it's the arbiter's job, the third man in the ring, to break the two boys and break, it, break them very quickly also. Galento rushes in there. He's got his right head almost on Nova's left shoulder. Nova moves in there. His left eye is bothering Nova a little bit. He took the left hook on the chin, which Galento connected with. He hurt Nova a little bit with that blow. He backed Nova into the ropes about four feet away, I would say, from Lou's own corner. Galindo has been more or less surprised with those heavy punches of his. He works the left jab into the mouth and the left hook that went around the neck of Lunova. And here they are in a the clinch. They kind of let down a little bit in the wild swinging. They're more deliberate. They watch each other. There's a left hook on the jaw by Galento again. And Nova grabs his man as he goes down. Nova goes down. He grabs Galento's left foot. And Nova gets right up again. Rather groggy. He was caught with a left hook. Got in close and went down. Here's... Another left hook on the chin, landed by Galento. We can't say whether it was a knockdown or not because Nova took that punch and got in there. Might have tripped over on his foot and gone down. But he did go down a second or two after being clipped by a left hook on the jaw and he grabbed Galento's, one of Galento's legs. Here's Nova slipping and going down again. Galento moves in towards him. It's getting to be a rather wild affair with Galento working a left and uppercut fast to the jaw. Galento is also cut on the nose and chin. Galento looks kind of tired, but he's moving in there. Nova looks... Very much the more tired of the two. They move back to center of the ring. Galento lets go a left, but he's wild with it. They're both depending on Lady Luck now to carry them through. Here's Galento coming in there, hooking the left to the jaw of Nova. Nova comes in there and hoping that Galento will tire suddenly. Here's Nova jabbing a left into the mouth, the short right on the chin, and a light right up a cut to the jaw of Galento, and Galento crowding his man into the rope. What's the light left into Nova's? Face. Nova's right eye is bothering considerably, cut badly underneath. Here's Nova with a right uppercut to the jaw. Now they're swinging wildly along the ropes, and the referee George breaks. Certainly has to work in breaking the two men. Now they step away from each other to back to center of the ring. Here's a left chop of Nova's that landed more of an open glove smack with the left to the face. And Galento rushed in, wraps his right arm around his opponent's left. They come back to the center of the ring. Here's a left hook on the jaw by Galento with short, snappy punch. Has plenty of power behind it, but he still can't bring Nova down, although the Californian sags against the rope near his own corner. They move back towards the center of the ring. Nova rushed in there, missed the right and left. He missed and took a right under the heart, landed by Galento, and now Galento by Nova. And now Galento crowds Lou clear into the rope. Once more, the referee breaks them as the bell sounds, ending the eighth round. Well, Lou Nova went down that time, and the crowd let out a cheer. Those for Galento. But the sportsmanship of this crowd here at the Municipal Stadium in Philadelphia is shown by these lusty cheers. 
every single thrill in this ring gets their unstinting approval. And speaking of thrills, there's one in store for you tomorrow. Just ask to see the Adam Hat of the Month, called the Edgemont, when you visit your Adam Hat store or agency. It's the style thrill introduced for September that's clicking with men everywhere. Now, note when you try it on how comfortable it is, how the between weight felt and the cushion pliant ease leather make it so. Its becomingness to most men is instantly recognized for the lines of its design are uncommonly graceful. The Edgemont is available in several new shades, complementary to the fall season's trend in clothes. And remember, at only $2.95, the one low price made famous by Adam Hatt. Now we're getting ready for round nine. Getting all set. Well, they're working harder over and over. Now he comes up a little bit slow. Galenko waits to meet him near the center of the ring. Both hands well in front of him, asking Lou, what is he going to do? Lou takes on a grotesque appearance as he's got some stabs alongside and, and over the and under the right eye to sort of stop the cut. They move back to the center of the ring. Uh, Galenko was cut from three or four spots uh, under the lip there and, and right in the cut of the chin. He hooks the lip to the face of Nova Galento does. They go into close quarters. It's amazing at that, the way Galento can keep going. I mean, in showing uh, the supremacy he has and the respect that he has more power and more stamina than we gave him credit. Many of the experts did. They go into a clinch. Nova was caught with a left hook on the chin before they fell into close quarters. Now they step away from each other. Nova comes in towards his man, misses the left lead. Lou hasn't much power, but in his punch right now, he's trying to get in there with a right uppercut to the jaw of the boy from the oranges. Lou Nova, Nova, uh, to, uh, Tony Galento, rather, and Galento came in with the left foot, landed high on the head, and here they go into a clinch. Both are rather tired from the heavy going. They move away, Galento caught his man with the left hook on the chin, and another left hook on the jaw, he backs over into the rope. Lou tries the right on the chin, and once more, George Blake, the referee is forced to break him. There goes a right stop that caught Nova back of the left ear. Nova came back with a short right to the body, but if anything, Galento is a sharper marksman and seems to have the harder punch. Galento rushed in again with the left hand there. Now Nova came back with the right to the body and Galento crowds Nova into the ropes about three feet from Tony's own corner. Now they step away from each other. Galento's cut is bothering him also on the cheek. He hooked the left to Nova's jaw. Nova's right side is still red. You can hardly distinguish his own skin from the red smear. And Galento moves in there, misses, and Nova got in the left to the face. Galento rushes in with a short right to the ribs. Nova looks like him. he'll need a miracle now to keep going. He moves in there, he's taking the left into the body landed by Galento, and Nova came back with a short right to the body. But Galento just moves in there methodically, watches this man, lets go whenever the opportunity offers. Here's Galento rushing in there, missing, and Nova the left to the face, and Galento left around the neck, and Nova in close, a right into the body. And so they go along round after round. Durability and stamina. Now they move in there. Here's Galento ducking away from right, hooking the left into the mouth of Nova that staggers. Nova, Nova missed the right, and Galento came with a counterattack, a left hook into the mouth of the Californian, and he staggered Nova. Nova moves away, both sides of his face are red, and Nova left it on the chin, landed by Lou Nova, by Tony Galento, and Nova tries to counter with a short right to the ribs, but he's short. The referee is watching Nova very, very carefully. At any moment, at the proper moment, to get in there if he thinks it's necessary to stop the battle. Galento rushes in there, they're so tired, they're tying each other up. Galento is the fresher of the two. Galento moves in there, misses the left lead, hooks the left to the chin of Nova. Nova came back with the right into the body. From the way the referee is watching the boys very carefully, it looks like he might take action unless something happens on the part of Nova if he comes back in some way. Here's Nova working a short right into the ribs. Galento trying a right uppercut to the jaw, missing at the bell. Referee George Blake all the way from the coast walks over to Lou Nova's corner now takes a look at Lou and how he's looking over to Tony Galeno. Both the two boys sit down on their chairs. They seem to be continually winded and well they might be after the fighting they've gone. Well, Lou Nova, if he hasn't proven anything else tonight, has proven one thing. He was a good football player. You know, he did play football out on the West Coast, the California Aggies. And when Tony Galeno knocked him down in the eighth round, the first thing Lou thought to do was stop his man. And he Galento seems to be fighting as well as he did in the first round. Just going along, as we told you before, methodically. Moving in there, Nova looks to be in bad shape, although Galento is cut too. He cut very easily. He took a left jab on the nose line by Nova, and a left hook on the face landed by Lou. But Galento don't mind the punches. Nova tried two right into the body and in the clinch. Galento swung with the right, but the blow went around the neck of the boy from California. Now they dance back to the center of the ring. Galento came in there, bobbing and weaving, trying a left hook to the face, but the blow was taken by Nova on his right glove. 
The referee, George Blake, telling the boys to break and step away. They come back. Dover himself is quite uh, cut. Of course, we told you about that. And Galento has plenty of cuts between that uh, lower lip and the bottom of the chin, right in the middle, the cleft of the chin. Seems to be cut and sprouting red from about a half a dozen spots. While Nover's in bad shape around the right eye and the nose and the left eye cut and also his mouth. Here they are going in there. They're getting a little bit dog tired, so to speak, both boys. Galento moves in towards Nova. Nova jabs the left into the mouth. Another one into the mouth. Another one into the mouth, Bob. Galento Nova did, and Galento could only do nothing else but crowd his man into the ropes and tie Lou Nova up. Here's Nova trying to bob and weave. His right eye almost closed Nova's head. He took a left jab on the nose, landed by Galento. They go into a clinch. Galento has Nova's right eye almost closed. Maybe he can just see out of it, but barely. And his left eye isn't any too much open. There goes the two rights to the body, landed by Lou Nova as they battle along the ropes, and more or less, more along the ropes. Not except in there, Galento missed with a right, it went around the neck. Nova tries to get in close. The referee's giving the boys a signal to break and step away. Now they come away from each other. Galento right or left took aim for the chin of Nova. He rather missed with it. He tried to break through with it. He didn't get in, though. And they fell into a clinch not far from Nova's corner. Now they move in there. Moving close. Nova slipped. Galento started a left miss. Nova went down in his own corner on his hands and knees. Galento missed almost catapulted over him. Luckily, he didn't. that push didn't go down. He didn't know that Nova was going to slip and go down. As he let the left go and he couldn't connect with it, Nova just slipped and sprawled on all fours. Here they are in a clinch along the rope, and the referee telling him to break and step away. Now they move. Nova's very tired. He took a left into the body landed by Galindo, and Galindo just seems to be able to conserve his strength. How he does it, we don't know, but he just moves along. He's trying to cut, as we told you, uh, underneath there, and underneath that uh, lip of his, but evidently he doesn't mind it at all. He moves in towards Nova, who certainly looks like he never has before in any of the Eastern rings, especially in those battles he's won. Now they move in there. Nova got in the light right to the body, but the power seems to have flitted away from the Nova left hook and the right. They step away from each other. Galento comes in there. Nova pops him with a left jab on the nose. Galento came back with a left hook eye on the chin. The round is almost over. They're in a clinch. Nova tried to right up because of the join his referee, George Blake, breaking the match to Bell. Both fighters back to their corners now, and if you tried to pick out two more different types of fighters, in fact, two more different types of people in this world, you just couldn't do it, both as to manners, looks, likes, speech, friendliness, and build. They're similar, however, in fighting ability. Both of them can take it, and both can dish it out. As for George Blake, the referee, the third man in the ring tonight, he's done an exceptionally fine job with a tough fight to handle. They tell a very interesting story about Blake and the Schmeling Stribling fight in Cleveland in 1930. He stopped the fight with 14 seconds to go. And afterwards, the newspaper men said, George, what'd you stop that fight for? It only had 14 more seconds to go. You might have let it go on and finish out. He turned around and he said, I'm a referee, not a timekeeper. And I think that silenced them for once and for all. One of the best and the finest third men that you could have in the ring. And he's handled both Galento and Nova, a difficult fight, very well. Well, there's the 10-second buzzer for round 11. Five rounds to go, but goes the limit. It's amazing the way it's been going. We thought it might have been stopped any round. Galento is the surprise the way he's been carrying on. Nova courageous, really courageous, recklessly. Now they come out there. Here's Galento trying to beat his man to the punch with the left lead. It goes past the right shoulder of the Nova. They fall into a clinch. You can see how tired they are as they fall in and grab each other around. Now they step away. Nova moves in towards Galento, who's the shorter but heavier one. Nova tried to shoot a right to the jaw, missed, and Galento was wild with a left hook. They went around the neck of Nova, and they fall into a clinch. So far, they haven't landed a punch. As we told you, they're both kind of tired. Nova just stands there, moves in. He won't take a backward step. Just comes in towards his man, trying to swing at Sam. What looks like a backhand blow, swinging from every angle. But he's always trying to get in there. And Nova, of course, always doing his best to outbox his man. And perhaps beat him off with one snappy left hook or a right cross to the chin. They're in a clinch, and the referee has his job cut out. Finally, Nova was shoved away by Galento a little bit. Tony just pushed his left hand in front of Lou and pushed him away. They come in, here's a left jab on the nose, or rather on the chin landed by Nova as Galento came in a little bit. Now they stand there, and here's a left on the nose, which Galento landed. Nova's right eye is certainly a mess. Boy, it's black top and bottom. If you can see through it, it's something we can perceive from, this, from the ringside. But he did get in a right on the jaw of Galento. Lou landed that right, although it didn't seem to pack the wallet that he generally shows when he has his man in distress to land full on the face. Galento let go a left, but it was high on Nova's head. They're mauling each other, and Galento trying to crowd his man into the rope. 
Now they step back towards the center of the ring. Luke Tony moved in there. Galento caught his man with a left hook on the chin after Nova worked the right left to the face. And Nova is forced to wrap one hand. His right around the left arm of Galento and his left around Galento's body. Here's Galento rushing in fast, fast for a man of his uh, size or rather weight. Letting go a left to the body and a left aim for the face is a little bit wild. There's a left hook high on the chin, which Nova connected with, and they fell into close quarters. Referee Blake telling the boys to break. Now they move away from each other. Galento stands his ground. Nova moves in there. Here's Nova with a left jab on the mouth. Another left jab into the mouth of Tony Galento. Now they're mauling each other, and the crowd is yelling at one of Galento's punches. They thought it might have been a backhand blow instead of a legitimate punch. They come back towards the center of the ring. There's a left jab on the mouth landed by Nova, but Galento came back with two left hooks on the chin. And a right uppercut on the jaw landed at close range by Nova as Galento crowds his man into the rope. Well, it's 11th round, four to go, and anything is liable to happen. Now they move away, and Galento got in a left hook on the chin, and a hard left into Nova's body, and it's peculiar that look in Nova's face as his eyes pierce up through the arc light that come down from the ring. Now they move away from something, Galento ducked away from a right aim for the jaw, and then Nova pounded the right into the body. The right aim for the chin seemed to be a ticket punch with Nova, but he missed with it. Uh, Galento himself is quite caught up. He moved in there with a left aim for the face, kind of missed with it a little bit. Tony did, but he crowds Nova into the ropes, and here's the referee breaking the boys again at the bell. All right, 11 rounds have gone by. We have four more to go. We'll be back within a moment in the Municipal Stadium in Philadelphia for the fight between Tony Galanto and Lou Nova, but now we pause briefly for station identification. two fighters, Nova and Galeno, have actually very little admiration for each other outside of this ring. We saw both of them just before this fight, and Nova, well, as Lou put it, he said, where does that bum get off calling me a bum? As for Tony Galeno, all he had to say was, I'll moiter to bum. He's been saying that about everybody he's been fighting for the past ten years, and generally, he's lived up to his advanced reputation and come through and done it. Well, everyone watches Galeno's lefts as they are the blows which hurt Joe Lewis. But just in case they do watch too closely, let me tell you that it's Tony's right that knocked out Nathan Mann. All right, it's round 12. And Galanto looks the pressure of the two as he comes up for this round. Uh, Nova moved in there, walked into a left jab on the nose, landed by uh, Tutan Tony. And in a clinch, Nova got in the light right to the ribs, and now he grabs Galanto around the arm and body. They move back towards the center of the ring. Nova starts to dance a little bit. He swung with the right, missed. Galento stays in close to his opponent, and here's the referee telling the boys to break. Look for a second as if Nova was going to use the ship and try to let go of the right with everything he had to offer, depending on one good punch to do something on his account. Now they move away, but Galento again crowds his opponent into the rope. It slowed up a little bit in hard action, but it's a tough fight nevertheless. The punches aren't flying like they did in the early part. There's a right to the body, which Nova connected with, and they go into a clinch with Galento's left arm almost under Nova's Right armpit. Now they come back once more. Nova, the daughter of the few, takes a left into the ribs, landed by Galento, a hard left into the ribs, which Tony connected with. Tony, of course, is the heavier of the few. Here's Tony pounding a light left into the body. Tony is a heavier, but he's also the smaller of the two in stature. That is as far as height goes. Now they come away. Here's Galento walking into a left jab on the mouth. Nova connected with, and then Galento wraps his right arm around Nova's left. In that position, he starts walking from one side of the ring to the other until the referee, George Blake, breaks the two boys. Here's a short right on the chin line of a Nova, but evidently if he's got the power to bring Nova down with one punch, uh, Galento down with one punch, he hasn't shown it because evidently what Galento has landed is taking some of the steam out of the Californian's blow. Here's Nova working a short right at the ribs, and Galento is muffing his opponent up a little with his left at close range as they battle within two feet of Galento's corner. They come back to the center of the ring. Here's Nova working a light left into the face. Galento still forced those cuts underneath the lower lip that we spoke about in the previous session. Now they move away from each other. Nova got in the short right to the face, and Galento came back with a left hook on the mouth, and now he's roughing up uh, Nova a little bit, and the referee breaks the two boys. They step away from each other. Here's Galento taking a left into the mouth, which Nova connected with, but Nova ducked away from a counter left of Galento that went around his neck. Nova jabs the left into the mouth of Tutan Tony. Galento crowds Nova into the rope, but Lou got in a short right into the ribs. 
Novers fighting in the terrific circumstances, but getting a good account of himself under the conditions. Here's Galento moving in there. Nova walks in there. Now he ties Galento up as they go into a clinch in the center of the ring. Galento jabbed the left to the face and a short right into the ribs, and he swung with the left. But the blow was taken by Novers. Right glove in midair. And then Galento tries to get in there, but he's just swinging and getting nowhere in particular. Here's a short right on the chin by Lou Nova. Whether Lou Nova can get one good punch over to bring his man down remains to be seen. It's the 12th round. They only have three to go if they go the limit. Now they step up. Galento took a left to the body and a right high on the temple. Landed by Nova. Now Galento moves in there with the left, but a little far behind it, although he crowds. Lou Nova into the ropes, and once more the referee is forced to separate the two boys. Here's Nova with a simple jab in the mouth, and a left hook on the turn of Galento at the bell. Again, the two fighters return to their corners and in for the handlers. Joe Jacobs working very hard now over Tony Galeno, wiping off the perspiration, pouring water down his forehead, giving him a well-earned rest. As over in Lou Nova's corner, they're wiping off that very badly cut eye now, working on him as fast as they can. In the corners, Ray Carlin, Nova's manager, and they're brushing him off with a towel now, giving him all the rest. Nova can just about see out of that left eye, and that's all he can. His right eye is badly marked up, too. As for both of these fighters, well, it's silly to say they're tired. After the kind of fighting that they've been going through, anybody'd be tired. Galeno occasionally still lapses back into the early tactics he learned years ago of wrestling, and that is that once in a while he lets go one of these punches, and then in midair changes his mind, decides, well, maybe it'd be more advantageous if I let go with a bit of wrestling technique. You know, this heavyweight match is a prelude to the world's heavyweight championship bout between Joe Lewis and Bob Pastor. The next stop on your Adam Hat Sport Parade. Our studio announcer will tell you more about this next broadcast, the conclusion of this fight. But now it's round 13. Will it be a hooter round for Galento or Nova? That is the question. There's Galento working a light left jab on the nose of Paul Rangier, Lou Nova, the boxer, who has had to discard most of his boxing skill part of the battle on account of the pounding he's been taken in spots. There goes a looping right to the face, landed by Galindo. He got that past the left guard of Nova, and they fell into a clinch. Galindo moves in there. He's cut, as we told you, from uh, the cleft of the cheek. He works another looping right to the face of Nova. Nova got in close, tries to tie his man up. He gets in there, tries to tie him up, and the referee straightened him out. Nova was caught with the left on top of the head, landed by Galindo. That Lou is just fighting in there. He looks to be in more desperate circumstances than Galindo. Galindo let everything go with the right Aim for the chin, reminded of a, of a ball player trying to bring one foot up in the air and hit a home run out of the park and then missing with the, with the bat. It was a left jab on the nose by Tony Galento. Galento came in close. He, wrapped, he rests his head on his opponent's left shoulder for a second as they go into a clinch. Galento tried another left jab in the face. Now they're certainly doing plenty of missing. And as Phil said, no use talking about that being tired. They are tired. Here's a left and right to the face by Galento. Another left took on the chin. He let go a rapid barrage of blows, and evidently Lou Nova, with all his boxing, still had no protection to avoid taking those punches high on the cheek. Here's a left to the face by Galento. Nova got in close, trying to right up a cut to the jaw, but he found the left glove of Galento, preventing him from connecting effectively. Galento rushes in, and Nova hooked the light left on the chin. Now they move in there, Galento again uh, heals his opponent, roughs him up a little bit, and the referee looks at Galento. He doesn't say anything, he just looks at him. Here goes Galindo trying to lift to the face and Nova right into the body. A rough battle and a tough fight this has been. Boy, it reminds us of the old Pier 6 fight just had years ago. Here's Nova coming in there, jabbing a left to the face, hooking a left to the chin and then falling in close for self-preservation to, to prevent Galindo from landing with a counterattack. Now they come in there, Galindo swung with the right and landed high to the left ear of his opponent and they go into a clinch. They just let the punches go, they time them rather methodically, and they do a lot of missing, and then occasionally they get in. And when they get in, it seems that one or the other is about apt to sink. Now they move away from each other, Galento waits for the uh, man to come in and hooks the left alongside of the jaw of Nova. Nova started to throw a right, but Galento beat him to the punch with a left high on the chin. Well, Nova moves in once more, takes another left hook on the jaw. Nova's right eye is absolutely closed. He can see all right from that left optic. Referee George Blake is getting in there. And Galento himself is sporting quite a few cuts around the face, but he don't seem to be mindful of them at all. Now well, they go into a clinch, and the referee is breaking the two boys. There they come in there. Nova took a left jab on the nose, landed by Galento. And Galento followed through with the left to the body. And Lou Nova, light right to the face and the right to the ribs. As Galento crowded his opponent into the ropes, and the referee, he's got a job breaking the two boys. They're back towards the center of the ring. Nova worked a left on the nose of Galento. They go into a clinch. Boy, are they tired. The 13th round. Now they step away. Here's the right. 
bounced off the left forearm of Galento, and they went into a clinch at the bell. Take it, Bill Stern. Well, seated around the ringside, we have some of the greatest sporting writers in America. Just to call off a few of them that meet our gaze as we look around here, Bill Cunningham of the Boston Globe, Warren Brown of the Chicago Herald American, Jimmy Dawson of the New York Times, Jack Cuddy of United Press, Dave Walsh of the Philadelphia Record, Murray Lewin of the New York Mirror, Lester Bromberg of the World Telegram, Nat Fleischer, the editor of Ring Magazine, Frank Graham and Wilbur Wood of the New York Sun, Al Horwitz of the Philadelphia Evening Ledger, Perry Lewis of the Philadelphia Inquirer, Lance McCurley of the Philadelphia News, Johnny Carmichael of the Chicago News, Ed Burns of the Chicago Tribune, John Hoffman of the Chicago Times, Harvey Boyle of the Pittsburgh Gazette, Joe Donovan of the Newark Ledger, Sid Fetter of Associated Press, Regis Walsh of the Pittsburgh Press, Harold Conrad of the Brooklyn Eagle, Tony Atchison of the Washington Star. We could continue on with the Pennsylvania Commission, Leon Rain, Georgie Jones and Harvey Boyle, Damon Runyon, well, Henry McLemore, they're all around the ringside, but now round 14 and Sam Taub. Here we are moving out to the center of the ring, Nover and Galindo in this rough and tumble battle the two boys have put on, reminiscent of the olden days. Oh, 30 and 40 years ago, we'd say, the way these boys have been carrying on the last few rounds. Glenda walked into a left jab on the chin. He also raised his left to the face, and as Nova landed a left to the chin, we could almost see Galento's two feet leaping into the air. Galento moved in there with a stiff left jab on Nova's nose, and now he crowds Lou Nova into the rope. Duke Tony comes in towards his man. They step away from each other. Galento is cut around under that uh, lip, as we told you, under the lip badly from a half a dozen faces. It places it reminds us of a sort of a fountain as he takes a left on the sore spot landed by Lou Nova. Nova come in towards his man. Nova seems to look better as far as his face goes in this session than he had in the past six or seven rounds. Oh, that right eye is completely closed. Nova ducked away from a looping right of Galento's. And then he blocked a left lead of Tony. Tony gets in there and they look like a pair of boys who are so tired they would love to find a place to lay down and say, let me sleep and don't wake me up for a week. That's what they really look like right now, the two boys. But they're carrying on gamely. There's a left hook on the chin by Galento. Galento comes in there. He's got his left glove high on the alongside of Nova's left face in a clinch. They come in there. There's a left hook on the jaw by Galento, they slow down almost to a walk, rather deliberate in their actions as they get in close. Neither one giving in, just coming in like a pair of mechanical beings. There's a left hook on the chimney. Nova, Nova took a left to the body, fell down, went down. Nova was down, bounced up the count of three, carried Galento down with him. He was caught with a left to the body, Nova was. He went down, he took a left to the chin, and a left to the body by Galento. And he carried Galento down with him. And before Galento got up, Nova got up at the count of three. Here's Galento with a right to the head, and down goes Nova. Almost flat on his face. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nova on one knee, eight. He got up at the counter knee. He looks bad. Galento comes in there, hooks the left to the chin of Nova. Nova's back is back to Galento on the mouth and the right to the head. Galento talks to the referee, begging him to stop the fight. Here's Galento coming in there, missing a left with the face, pumping a right into the ribs of the tired Californian. Here goes Galento coming in there with a left on the face. The battle may be stopped. Uh, Ray Arcel, his handler of Nova, is yelling, keep your hands high. Galento rushes in, misses, he's a little bit anxious. He works the right uppercut to the jaw of Nova. Nova's just laying on top of Galento. If Galento steps away, Nova must go down. Nova is so tired. Boy, is he tired. There he takes the left to the face, landed by Galento, and now the referee's walking in between the two boys. It's all over. The referee stops the fight. The winner by a technical knockout, Tony Galento. And Joe Jacobs is managed to leap into the air. Okay, Bill Stern. All right, Sam, we've got it while you try and climb up into that ring. Well, a great fight, a brilliant stand-up fight made by both Nova and Galento, so let's give credit where credit is due. The experts, and they are the people who should know about these fights, said that Galeno could never win a long fight, that he'd have to win in the first few rounds if he was going to win at all. Actually, you've seen he won the fight in the 14th round after he had Nova down twice, once for the count of two and once for the count of eight, both time with left hooks. Here's the official announcement. The time of the knockout, two minutes, 44 seconds, the 14th round. The winner, Tony Galando. 
Delano in the center of the ring, his arm raised in victory now. A big bathrobe thrown around his shoulders. He's bowing to the cameramen so that they can get their pictures. And over in the other corner, the picture of despondency, Lou Nova sitting back on his chair, surrounded by his handlers, working on him very furiously and fastly, not to bring him to, but to undo the damage which is done by the terrific left hooks which Galeno left go in any and all directions during the 14 rounds of fighting. Tony is standing in the center of the ring at the moment now. His handlers are still trying to get a hold of him, to work on him, to bring him over to the NBC microphone. Sam Tobbs right up in the ring waiting to get him. But there's so many people in this ring, including the policemen, the photographers, the press men trying to get stories from Nova before he can get out of the ring, that it's almost impossible to get through that surging mess. As soon as it is possible, however, we'll have him for you. In the ring now, the picture of the utmost confusion. The press photographers all bunched around Tony Galento, standing in his corner, surging on the ropes, standing in any position they can possibly get get a picture of the winner, who's Tony Galento. The fight, remember, rule this and put it down in your books. Not a knockout, a technical Not knockout, fight. because this fight was stopped. A surging mass of humanity around this ringside here, waiting for Tony Galento to get up off his chair. At the moment, they're cutting away his gloves. His gloves have been bound onto his hands now. They've gotten a pair of scissors into the rings, and they're taking these gloves off. And in just a moment, Tony Galeno will be standing up and coming out to the center of the ring. Well, certainly it was a very thrilling fight. To go back on a brief recapitulation, Galeno, from the very opening blow, came out here and showed that he meant business tonight. And also, he tried for that early knockout, which he said he was going to try and get. As for Nova, Nova fought a much more cautious fight than the one he fought against Max Bear, where he was perfectly willing to step into the ring and slug the best blows that the so-called killer Max Bear had to throw at him. Now, Galeno's over to our microphone. All right. The man who surprised 90% of the country. Back again, Tony Galento. I fought one of the toughest guys in the boxing game today. I'd rather box him than box a lot of the, all the heavyweights I get I box. A tough guy and a good fighter and a good, tough, plenty of guts. And thank you, Mom, for hello, Mom, Pa, and my baby home. My wife is here. And I appreciate all the Philadelphia fans that came here tonight to see me. I know they're all my friends. Yes, that was Tony Galento. Now we come over here. Loon over. There he is, the boy who made a great fight. Went out in the 14th round when the referee stopped about. Loon over. Hello, Bill. It was a, it was a tough fight, one of the toughest fights I've ever had, and I really have an excuse. Tony Galento was a great fighter and a good, tough man. I'd like at this time, if you don't mind, to greet my wife and little girl. And I'm sorry, Mark Hellinger, that I lost. And maybe the next time I'll win for you, kid. So long, everybody. Thank you, Lou Nova, the loser, and you heard Tony Galento, the winner. Take it, Bill Stern. And thanks very much, Sam. And so, fans, tonight's fight broadcast come to its end. Before returning you to our Radio City studios in New York for the closing announcements regarding the return to the airways for our next Adam Hatch Sports staff. May I remind our fans that your visit to an Adam Hat store or agency tomorrow is a step in the right direction. For value, a turn to economy without sacrifice of quality and a tip to hat smartness without extravagance. This is Bill Stern bidding you good evening for Sam Taub and myself until our next visit into your loudspeaker. Thank you, Bill Stern and Sam Taub. We're making next Wednesday evening a red-letter day on our calendars when you take the Adam Hat Sports Parade on tour to Briggs Stadium in Detroit for the World's Heavyweight Championship. A 20-rounder for the crown with Joe Lewis, the present champion, defending his title against Bob Pastor, the challenger. Fans, Adam Hat, world's largest retailer of men's hats, invites you to again tune in on NBC's Blue Network, coast to coast, and all available Canadian stations for this feature broadcast. Remember the date, next Wednesday, September 20th. Be sure of the time, for this event will be aired at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Check with your local newspaper's radio columns for correct station and time. This is Gene Hamilton speaking for Adam Hat. Good night. This is the National Broadcasting Company. Thank mm-hmm. you.